Have you ever noticed that after a couple of days, your toilet starts to develop a black ring of mold and it appears near the water line? As you're scrubbing it off, you're probably like, why is this happening? And I hate to break it to you, but it's probably your pee. This kind of toilet stain is actually super common. It's even a little bit weird and super frustrating. But if you're dealing with toilet stains and you've been struggling to figure out why they're happening, you're in the right place. I want to tell you first why I'm talking about this topic. I'm Mila. I am a diabetes patient advocate and integrative nutrition diabetes health coach, an author, and a self-taught cook living with latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. My website, Hangry Woman, aims to take away the shame and the stigma that come with a diabetes diagnosis, and I cover topics like diabetes management, cooking, and self-care from the perspective of someone living with this chronic condition. I also have an app called Glucose Guide. I consider it your diabetes personal assistant. It's an app that connects you to community, helps you with self-care, mental health, and living your best life with diabetes. Plus, I offer private group and group coaching sessions. And the app is live in the Google Play and the App Store. And you get daily content like recipes, affirmations, and diabetes news. I'm also a small channel and an independent creator, so any interactions on my video helps me know that you want me to continue producing helpful content like this. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications so you know when new recipes and new videos go up, and let me know what you think about this video. I'm always open to hearing it, and I always think it's helpful to hear from all of you about topics that resonate with you. So what you're going to learn in today's video is what the heck that black ring is around your toilet every, I would say, few days to every couple of weeks, depending on how often you actually clean your toilet, how you can clear it from your toilet bowl, and how, and how you can prevent that mold ring from actually happening. So first we have to understand what is that ring, right? You see it and you're like, this is weird. And then you clean it and it comes back and you're like, this is weird. <laughs> so what's really happening there is that people with diabetes are producing a large amount of glucose in our urine. And in the past, I've talked about how testing for diabetes was not through finger sticks and continuous glucose monitors like we know them today, but it's it was from drinking urine and determining its level of sweetness, which is super gross, but that's how they used to know if someone had diabetes. They would see the symptoms and then their pee would be taste tested, which is also pretty weird. But when urine with concentrated levels of glucose comes into contact with the toilet bowl, it can result in a dark and sticky stain that's a little bit difficult to remove. And this is a type of mold that can be found, like I said before, along the water line and in the toilet bowl. Although these stains are not harmful to your toilet and they're not harmful to you, they can be a signal that your blood sugars might be elevated and they sure are really scary when you see them. And now a big question that people ask is, does mold in my toilet mean that I have diabetes? And while it's true that people with diabetes tend to have more sugar in our urine, just specifically depending upon what levels our blood sugars are at, that can contribute to toilet mold more often. And the presence of toilet mold doesn't automatically indicate diabetes. Mold can grow in toilets for a multitude of reasons, and it can be humidity. It can be residue of cleaning chemicals. It can be infrequent cleaning. So if you're noticing a persistently high frequency of mold, even though you're cleaning regularly and you're seeing that black ring near the waterline of your toilet, it could be a good idea to consult a healthcare professional for advice. And just remember that mold in your toilet alone is not a definitive sign that you have diabetes. Always rely on medical tests and the advice of your healthcare providers for an accurate diagnosis. That is super, super important. So if you, you know, are looking for effective ways to clean your toilet stains, 
the first thing that you really want to do is you want to balance your diet, make sure that you're exercising, make sure that you're testing your blood sugars and that you're taking your medications as scheduled. Basically, having your blood sugars in range is what's going to help you prevent this mold ring and this kind of like thing that you're seeing in your toilet. And so other effective ways to deal with the stains in terms of cleaning them, it can be tricky, but it's not impossible. So it's important to clean your toilet bowl regularly and use a special cleaner for stubborn stains. You could also consider using a cleaner product that contains bleach, and that can always eliminate bacteria and urine stains as, you know, in addition to the frequency that you are cleaning your toilet. Additionally, a separate mixture of dish soap and vinegar can help break down chemical buildup and it can leave the bowl looking clean and shiny and smelling good and help you avoid that mold just a little bit. So that's it for this video. It's a super short one, you guys. I just want you to remember before I end to comment, let me know what you think about this topic and if you've experienced it and if you have some alternatives for people on how to be able to clean those stains away. But I also wanted you to remember that you are not alone on this path. And I am working to create a community of individuals who support and uplift one another and really help to navigate the challenges, the the craziness of diabetes, but also celebrate our victories and create a positive and inclusive space where everyone's voice is heard. So if you want to be a part of something like that, Glucose Guide is the perfect place for you. This is the space that I open up to clients who I coach with their goals around health and wellness and just provide resources and reading and recipes and all the things that you would want to have as someone with diabetes. So if you want that resource, you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. I look forward to sharing more with you through Glucose Guide and also my YouTube channel that I have here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you leave your comments down below about this topic because it's wild and I'm curious if anybody else has experienced this. But I think it's probably true that some of us at one time or another have experienced this and been like, whoa, what is that? So I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.